It's, it's a, not so much that they have to win one playoff game. It's that if they don't win the playoff game. First of all, great coach, great quarterback. Uh, their defense concerns me, but they'll be playing in Buffalo. The stakes concern me. Not not the bet itself. <laughs> it's the stakes that concern me. Uh, for the record, on the Baker Mayfield thing, even when you compliment Cleveland, they have such low self-sports esteem. They, they can't figure it out. Cleveland has either the first or second best offensive line in football. I think it's the best. Colts are second. That's a compliment, Cleveland. With the best offensive line in football, Baker Mayfield has the 31st highest completion percentage, 18th in yards, 12th in touchdowns, with great tight ends and great wide receiver talent. You, you, he was the second best quarterback in the game Monday. Ask yourself this. You're a general manager. Next five years in the NFL, I would take Patrick Mahomes over him, Josh Allen, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Deshaun Watson, and I love Derek Carr. He's more of a grown-up. I would also take the Jets' number one pick and the Jags' number two pick and give me five more games, and I like the maturity and accuracy of Tua. That would be 10 of 16 AFC quarterbacks. Cleveland's got the best offensive line in the league. Do you remember what Dak Prescott looked like when he had the best offensive line in the league? He was 13-3 and three as a rookie. The last time a player, a quarterback in this league, had the best running game and the best offensive line was Dak Prescott's rookie year. He went 13-3 and three in the better NFC. Baker's 31st in completion percentage with a star receiver and two star tight ends and two star backs and the best offensive line. I'm just saying, I don't see this. He is Case Keenum with a better arm. He's capable. Case Keenum won 11 games one year. It's not a bang on him. But the last time we saw the combination of best O-line in football and best running game was Dak as a rookie. It was 13-3. and three. So right now they're 9-4. and four. So, and, you know, it's not a knock. I, I really, honestly, I, sometimes I'm like, it's not a criticism. Cleveland is built around Kevin Stefanski and this old line. That's what they are. And, by the way, I like the running backs. But Nick Chubb couldn't do anything. It, it, this offensive line, we've seen Zeke as the Cowboy offensive line has deteriorated. Zeke's not special. Like, like you do need some help on the offensive line. Cleveland's O-line is stacked. Stacked. They got. They're paying a swing tackle five and a half million. Doesn't start. They're stacked. Uh, Joel Clatt next hour. It's the streaming service you'll love. Discovery Plus exclusive originals. It starts next year. U.S. only. Plus some favorite brands like HGTV and the Food Network. Discovery Channel. The hurt. He was the second best quarterback Monday night. I mean, if Lamar doesn't get cramps, no, he wasn't. Oh, you don't oh think he... God. Lamar Jackson's so much better than oh Baker my Mayfield. God. Are, are you really okay, thinking... Okay, overall, yes. overall, yes. Yeah. but not Monday night. Uh, look, I, uh, uh, yeah, Lamar's the defending MVP, but Monday night he wasn't. But Lamar had 80 yards in the first three and a half quarters. He completed six passes. I like Lamar a lot, but come on. Can we... we but Baker against the Titans, the best first half anyone's done all had in any against any team all year. Follows it up against the Ravens. They score 42 points. He scores three fourth quarter touchdowns, a go ahead touchdown, and then a drive in the final two minutes where his only f flaw was he scored too fast. 47 seconds down the field. Like, come on, man. Come on. By the way, Colin, listen to this. Baker was L really good. Listen to this. Yeah. AFC alone, just the AFC. If I, you're the GM, huh? AFC, yeah. for the next five years, uh -huh. Mahomes, just answer, you know, we, we got to get, Mahomes or Baker? Yeah. Josh Allen or Baker? Mahomes. Justin Herbert or Baker? Baker. Justin Herbert. Okay. Uh, Deshaun Watson. Joe Burrow. Deshaun. The Jets' number one pick, the Jags' number two pick. Josh Allen, I have nine minimum I choose over Baker next five years, and I'm not counting Ben or Tua. Ben's old and Tua, give me another seven, eight games. That's all I'm saying. I mean, again, okay. he's got the best offensive line. He's got a fortress of offensive talent. He lost Monday. I mean, what do you want from me? Well, uh, well, I, I scored 42 points. What I want from you is common sense. <laughs> I scored 42 points.
We're blaming him? Okay. Hey, hey, uh, hold on. And you send Josh Allen. Are we going to be able to talk about the Bills? This is the Herdline News. Jalen Hurts rushed for 106 yards in his first game as starting quarterback. A big part of Hurts' success was his ability to make plays with his legs. And Doug Peterson said that defenses often have trouble adjusting to a mobile quarterback. A lot of times they don't account for him. Anytime you can create a passing lane and, and you got a quarterback that can push up in the pocket and then separate from there, it just stresses the defense. And so that's where some of the big plays, you know, can really show up. It's kind of uh, what you what you were saying with the Saints. I thought Brian Baldinger is a former NFL player, NFL Network. He goes on, online and does these videos. Uh, and, he, and he really teaches me football. He had one yesterday on Lamar Jackson that was so good. And they ran this play twice. <laughs> Nobody accounted for Lamar. And they made it look different. And Brian does, I don't know Brian, but he does a dr- great job of breaking down film. And it's the point is football defenses aren't designed to defend a great athlete at quarterback because they want to double a receiver. Um, you know, there's certain situational areas where if a quarterback's fast, we don't have a defensive player who matches up. He's matched up on the receivers. And traditionally, the best athlete does not play quarterback. So that's why the league is becoming more of a scoring league. Rules and you don't really want to have to face a quarterback who's faster than your safeties, linebackers, and corners. I would be, I'd be interested to talk to some. Def- defensive coordinators who like moving forward what is the plan for that because this is just a trend that's going to continue the best athlete is now playing quarterback well well, you know what the plan is when they're out of the pocket hit them a little late and hopefully psychologically they get tired of running but but by the way that does work they they, they penalize them for that now too so it's very risky yeah it's a risky but one of the propositions is make sure you add a little elbow do that four or five times. Put a little fear in them. Yeah, after about three years, guys are like, eh, I'm going to stay in the pocket. I mean, there's really no way to stop it if it's done efficiently. <sighs> I mean, no. We talked to Akeem Tlaib yesterday. He's like, it's just, they hate it. Defenses hate going against yeah. running quarterbacks. It's very hard to account for them. And this weekend, they're going to be playing another yeah. running quarterback. So that'll be a... That'll be an exciting game, Eagles and Cardinals. So the Packers are currently in the top spot in the NFC and everything have everything working on offense. And Aaron Rodgers is very happy with the way his team is playing right now. Yeah, we're playing great football. Now we can say it. we're 14 weeks in. 13 games and a bye. So, yeah, now we can say it. We're having, you know, a lot of success on offense. I think we're number two in yards. Not sure where we're at in points per game. We're number two in uh, third down percentage, number one now in the red zone. You ever know someone who, like, is the worst person to be wrong around? Feels like if you say if you say something and yes. Aaron Rodgers knows you're incorrect, you're gonna get the like the most like calm undressing by Aaron Rodgers. Like you you like you're bragging about something and then like you're like. Oh. Well, you also I was wrong, and I got to run into this guy tomorrow. Aaron also has this thing where he wants you to think he's cool and doesn't care about stuff. But he went on to talk about the goat thing, and he's got it all in his head. He just wants you to think he doesn't care about. When people say they don't care about stuff, they care more than they're willing to let on they care about stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you don't care about something, you just simply don't talk about it. The idea that Aaron wouldn't care about some goat conversations. Well, he's in some of those, so of course he can. And he, as he should. Yes. He's somebody who's who's going to leave a, a a very storied legacy on the NFL. Of course he's thought about it. Yeah. And and he's and he's right. They are playing good football. I just love the way he talks about it. It's like I would hate to like be bragging to about to Aaron Rodgers about something and then find out later I was wrong. You're gonna run into him the next day, he's definitely gonna let you know. But they are atop the 